Good morning. Welcome to Tapestry 2017. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's a good start. My name is Robert Cosera. I'm a research scientist at Tableau Software, and I'm one of the organizers of this conference. This is our fifth tapestry, so this is very exciting for us. This is, I'm one of the organizers, as, as I said, together with Ben Jones, uh, Jenny Richards, Chu Lori, and you will see a few more other Tableau people running around that, that are here as either uh, attendees or they're, they're doing all the organizational stuff and they're outside at that, uh, at that desk. We're gonna start with the really boring stuff, so I made a really ugly slide for that. Housekeeping. <laughs> I'm told that I need to tell you where the bathrooms are. So I wanna be very clear, this is not a bathroom, okay? <laughs> Don't do bathroom things in here. <laughs> the bathrooms are across the hall, okay? You just walk out here, you just keep walking until you hit a, a well, if you hit the wall, it's a problem, but if, until you hit the door and you take one of those and those are the bathrooms. We, we have a few other things. Uh, so we do believe in bathrooms, we believe in internet too. So we have the, the program online, but you probably can't get to it right now because the, the, the network is having some issues, but they're working on it. So we'll, they're, they're increasing our capacity so we can have more people and more devices on it because everybody has like seven devices on them now. <laughs> and we'll, we'll get to that, but there is internet. Uh, there's a code in case you're not staying at the hotel, you didn't get the little card. It's just Kessler, all lowercase. There's a login page and you just put it in and then in a few moments, because you're supposed to pay attention now anyway, uh, but in a few moments, you will be able to get on that and, um, and surf away. We believe in food, so we have food breaks. Well, we have breaks. Uh, the first one is at 10.15, and this is a short break, so please be back by 10.45. We have, a, we have a lot of stuff going on, so we want to have everybody back for the actual content. Coffee will be just outside here and all the food will be upstairs where we, where we had the breakfast. So just head to the pool for, for lunch later. Um, if you have any food allergies and you can't, we, we should have taken all that into account, but if you don't find your specific thing, talk to the folks outside here, they can, they can help you. So outside meaning that's just that, that desk outside there. Yeah, as I said, we have, we have food also at lunch that will be at noon and please be back by one because again, we're starting again at one. And if you have a poster or a demo, the posters are set up outside to your left. So you walk out, go left, and there are posters set up there. And our demo showcase will be outside and to the right. There's another ballroom where we'll have people directing you there. So it all sounds super complicated right now, but we'll, we'll figure this out later on. And then in last point here, and then I'm done with the ugly slide, uh, is the bus to NICAR. Many of you are going to NICAR. That bus leaves at 6.30, but please be ready and be there by 6.15. There being the main entrance, which is this way. So you walk out here, just walk to your left, and there's the main entrance that will, will be the bus. There will be a little reception just before that, so we will hopefully close on time. If I can stay on time and we can keep everything on time, then uh, we'll have a little reception after the last keynote so we'll, we'll get you buzzed for the buzz, and it <laughs> takes a while to trickle down, but, um, we'll, but then uh, there will be, oh, and there will be food there as well, so, so be, be ready to load up on food there. Uh, we have some snacks for the bus as well. Um, right, so that's all the housekeeping. Any questions? All right, so with that, I'm going to start talking about the more interesting stuff, which is where we even are. We always like to pick interesting historical places for this conference, and I think we did a decent job again this year. St. Augustine is the oldest European settlement in the United States. It has the oldest fort in the US. These are some pictures that Ben Jones took of that yesterday. If you're a history buff or if you're interest, interested in, in museums and things like that, this is a place to check out. There's also some beautiful Spanish architecture outside, Spanish style architecture outside. And there's also the Fountain of Youth. We figured that it would be a good package deal. You learn about data storytelling and you get eternal youth. So, you know, <laughs> not so bad. Just kind of throw that in as a little goodie. But I also like to talk about us, all the people in here. Oh, I, I forgot to mention one more thing. 
the temperature. It, we are monitoring the temperature in here. So if, it's, if, it, if it stays too cold, we, we, we actually brought you all in here so to heat up the room. And now this is hopefully gonna work. And if not, then we'll, we'll do something about it. But for now, we're, we're gonna stick with the AC being on. Back to talking about ourselves. Um, we always collect data about that. And so this is our gender breakdown this year. And we're doing actually, we're doing pretty well if I say so myself. This is actually kind of shocking for a conference that's put on by a tech conference, uh, by a tech company rather. Um, and it's not a coincidence though, because we decide who we accept and we've been able to steer things a little bit, but we do depend on applications of course. Many of you, actually almost all of you are on Twitter and <laughs> those who aren't, I don't believe a word you're saying but uh, feel free to tweet about this. And we have a hashtag, tapestrycons. We also have a user with the same name. We just put an ad in front. And so feel free to tweet and give everybody else out there a good dose of FOMO. I know you're not supposed to say FOMO, but you know, I'm, I'm talking right now, so. <laughs> but, oh, and we also have the breakdown here by industry. And we always work on getting a good mix together. So you can see we have nonprofits and government. The largest swell, p p a group of people here really is from journalism and academia. You get folks from design. We have a number of people from Tableau, naturally, and then uh, a number of folks from the, the BI, the business intelligence uh, industry. We also have a good representation here of different places. This is not my best slide, but it <laughs> gets the job done. We, are, we have 63 cities represented here and seven different countries. Now I flew here from Seattle, which is a long flight away. It's like 3000 miles. It's pretty far, I, I think it's far. But it turns out there are people here from the UK, from Cyprus, from Turkey and India and even from Canada. <laughs> now in, in Seattle, you can throw a rock without hitting a Canadian. And we do that a lot, we throw rock at Canadians <laughs> a lot. But uh, I figured, you know, down here, Canadians are a bit more, a bit more exotic. So that's, uh, that would be a thing to talk about. We also have a good number of local folks, which is always exciting. So we have people here from places like Miami and even Jacksonville. So that's, that's really cool to see that people are actually coming out here also from just around the corner. Now Tapestry is a conference about storytelling with data. And when we talk about storytelling with data, we have to talk about one man, Hans Rosling. And I did not put the sound in here. Now Hans sadly passed away about three weeks ago, but I know that he was an inspiration to many of us. And I know that most of you here in this room probably wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. In fact, I can say categorically that none of us would be here because there would be no tapestry conference. Only because people got excited about storytelling about was with data where we able to actually get the people who, who you know, make those decisions to give us the go ahead to, to run this conference. What Rosling showed us is that it was possible to present data in a way that is fun and engaging without being silly. He showed us that you could get people excited about data by being exciting and by being excited yourself. And he showed us that you could perform data. So this is what you just saw, the famous video, the TED talk from 2006, that you could actually get into it and make that work. These pictures that you're seeing here are from his keynote at the Tableau conference in 2014 in Seattle. And seeing him on stage doing this, this performance with this big pointer that he had was just an incredible thing to behold. 
And it was this kind of performance that made him such a huge influence. It's easy to forget now just what kind of shock that was to see this in, in 2006 when his, when his original TED video hit the internet and before even Twitter and, and frankly before a lot of data journalism really existed. And, and, and certainly before I think a lot of us thought that you could actually use the data itself to tell the story and not just tell the story that, that you had worked on using data but use the data itself and show that to your audience and, and make that work to, to, tell you the, to tell the story to your audience. Now showing data and making people care about data, were, were, they required new ideas. They were new ideas, but they also required some new approaches, some new ideas. And animated scatter plot is not what the academic viz community would tell you to use because animation is one of those things that we don't really like all that much. And scatter plots are way too complicated for you know, regular human beings. But it turned out that's what worked. Stacking rolls of toilet paper on stage wasn't exactly what we kind of do in academic viz research, but it works and it gets people interested and excited in data. And more than that though, I think what I took away from, from seeing Rosling in, uh, give his talk and, and just seeing him over the years is that what I'm gonna call the three hues. And this is a terrible pun, but I, I ask you to indulge me for a moment. The three hues are his humility, his humanity, and his humor. And it's important to never lose sight of that when we're stuck in some data set or when we're trying to wrangle some table or trying to figure out how to show some, some how to, to design some chart that we need to, to keep track of, of humility, humanity, and, and humor. If you want to honor his legacy, I think what we need to do is make the world smarter, make the world better by making it smarter. And we need to do that with humility, humanity, and humor. And I know that you all and we all are here to learn how to do that even better and to be better storytellers and better, better guardians <laughs> of this world and, and to be, become better at, at this today by learning from all the people who are gonna talk to us over the next few hours. So with that, I thank you and I wish you all a great and inspiring conference. And I'm going to introduce our 